This week's exercise is a fingerstyle funk groove that makes use of decorations such as hammer-ons, slides and shakes. Let's take a look at how to play it. So the first thing that we're going to do is play a slide from the D into the E on the A string. And that slide begins on the final semiquaver subdivision of beat 4 of the counting. So the E, when you arrive at it, should be the first note of beat 1 of the actual exercise. Now we're going to follow that slide by playing a motif on the uh, upper three strings. We're going to play an E octave at the ninth fret of the G string, the D at the seventh fret, and then we're going to play the B at the ninth fret of the D string. And you're going to play each of those three notes staccato. That kind of thing. We're going to follow those three notes by playing a shake on the, uh, on the D string. This kind of thing. Now a shake is very similar to a trill, um, but for want of a better expression, it's got a slightly kind of greasier sound, a more fluid sound. And uh, shakes are used by all of the uh, all of the top funk players, and they sound great in these kind of fingerstyle funk grooves. So the way that I'm playing this shake is I'm fretting the D at the seventh fret of the G string, and then sliding my finger rapidly back and forth between the D and the D sharp a fret higher. That kind of thing. Okay, so that's the phrase at the beginning of bar one, and we're going to repeat that phrase um, in the second half of the first bar. And the only thing left in bar one is we have a ghost note on the final semiquaver subdivision, and I'm playing that on the D string. And that's leading me really into the, uh, the bass fill in bar two. So in bar two, we have a long bass fill that's based on the E blues scale, which is E, G, A, B flat, that's the blue note, B and D. So uh, the fill is going to go as follows. So the first thing that we're going to do is play uh, a hammer-on from the B flat into the B. That's the eighth and ninth frets on the D string. We're going to follow that with the D, the seventh fret of the G string. We're then going to play a slide downwards from B flat to A, this is back on the D string now, and then finish the phrase uh, on the G. And to finish off the second beat of the bar, we're just going to play the E and the D on the A string. And again. On the third beat of the bar, we're going to play the G at the fifth fret of the D string. Come down to the E and the D on the A string. And then we're going to play B flat at the 6th fret of the E string, hammering on to the B at the 7th fret. So uh, that takes us into the beginning of the 4th beat. We then play the D at the 5th fret, and uh, back to the B, and then back to the D. So that's uh, beats 3 and 4. Let's hear that again. So the whole bar, once you stick it together, it's going to sound like this. And that, uh, that final D that you played there is going to lead us back into the, uh, into the line in bar three. So bar three is the same as bar one, and then in bar four we have a, another bass fill, again based on the E blues scale, and this one's um, sort of centered around the lower register of the instrument. So the first thing that we do here is we're going to play a slide from B flat into B on the E string, and then we play that D, this time it's at the fifth fret of the A string. We're going to follow that by sliding downwards from B flat to A, and then we move down to the G, this is all on the E string now. We're going to follow that G with a ghost note on the E string, and then we're going to play the open E, and that's going to bring us to the end of the second beat of the bar. 
that E is going to tie across into the third beat, and then we're going to play the open E again, the G, and a ghost note. And then on the fourth beat of the bar, we play a hammer on from A to B, and then we play two Ds, the second of which slides back into the E, so we can repeat the exercise. So the fill in bar four is going to sound like this. And that takes us back into the exercise. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the latest instalment in my Bass Lick of the Week series. Don't forget you can download the PDF worksheet and backing track by clicking on the link in the description below. And as ever, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I'll see you next week for another Bass Groove.